All right, we got the battery mounted with a custom aluminum bracket because the bottle mount was so low on the frame and this bracket is cheap crap to hold a big heavy expensive battery they give you this cheap plastic crap and there's these spacers that go between the brackets so I got this aluminum this is aircraft quality aluminum two inch by quarter flat bar and I drilled it out this is a heat sink I had to put one of the bolts through the heat sink and the other bolt through the bottom here so yeah I had to unscrew the bracket from the heat sink drill out a couple holes and uh, put some self-tapping screws in here this is the only piece of metal that they give you to mount on the and the other uh bottle style battery the whole bracket was like that aluminum with the ends that cradle the battery so this one it just slips on there and there's just enough room and then it locks in the place with the key into the plastic <laughs> so there it is looks pretty good I'm, I'm gonna use a strap like I do on the other one anyway just to make sure it's snug if I hit a bump and it don't come flying off the strap is extra protection because these brackets I don't trust anyway cheap Chinese junk anyway looks pretty cool 54 volt upgrade is coming along I'm gonna have to put the crank sensor to disc here for the pedal sensor the position sensor is gonna go right here on the swing arm facing out so I can get that magnetic disc hopefully it fits there without a problem I'll probably have to zip tie it with a little piece of aluminum have a nice little piece that'll go right on there with it hoping that it works out because I'm gonna swap the front end too and because this is shorter my other front end is way tall I'm gonna have to cut it down but we'll see when we get to that point and that's it <laughs>